Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day here today. I just stepped out of the house to enjoy this gorgeous nature. And I'm thinking how nice it would be to have some of those graceful and peaceful creatures wandering around me. Yes, I'm talking about hens, chicks, and ducks. Let's go see if we could at least get a feel for them and brighten up our days, even if we don't have them in real. Look at my colorful planter. We got a hen here. Combination of red, yellow, blue, green, all these colors. And then we have a chick here. She's very cute too. And have all the different colors. I'm sure she's gonna brighten up my garden. Uh, wherever I plan to keep her. And we have a duck here. Very colorful too. Mixture of colors. I think all these planters are gonna make my garden look very pretty and they are very cute, I think. Let's take a look at them again. And now I'm going to show you the plants I'm going to use in them. So this is a white begonia. I love begonia. They are very easy to plant and take care of. They are annuals. And here goes another begonia, pink. Pink is my favorite color. I like all colors, but pink is very special to me. And I think this white and pink begonia are going to look really nice in those um, hen or dark shaped planters. And I have another cute plant here which is Angelonilina Angelonia. <laughs> Has little white flowers. Actually I got these plants a little while ago but I just didn't get a chance to plant them yet. And I got a little grass loop plant here. I think it's gonna look very nice in one of those cute planter grass loop. I took some potting soil in this larger bowl. It's just regular potting mix, um, but I use the better quality one that has um, micronutrients, um, or I would say um, natural fertilizer added to it. And um, I noticed uh, it makes a difference when I use this kind of soil for um, planting my seedlings or plants. Um, it uh, gives the plant more healthier look. You can find these in any garden stores. You can see, looks 
looks like some granules these are actually granules uh, it's called water storing crystals when I plant um, in a small uh, pot I usually mix some of these granules with the potting soil and mix the oil together um, what it does is um, it actually um, retains water better so you'll have to water your plants less frequently this really helps me probably a lot of you are already using this tip but um, once again this really helps um, for potted plants so I uh, always remember to put some of these granules um, in the potting soil and just um, give it a good mix all together with the soil and the soil is ready for planting the little plants I was showing you earlier. So the soil is all ready. Now let's plant. started to pour here this evening later I think we are gonna have some thunderstorm with heavy rain now let's take a look at the birdies yes you know what I mean Here is our is this hen So I planted the pink begonia in this little cute hen um, with some potting soil and that water storing crystal mixed together and see how beautiful she is looking all colorful and beautiful now let's take a look at the another little one she's a cute little chick such a cutie and I planted a spider plant with some cuttings from my portulaca um, or it's also called uh, ten o'clock flower I have some yellow ones, so I planted the spider plant along with the yellow protolica in this little chick, and she's looking so gorgeous. Now let's take a look at this ducky. looks wonderful so here is that white begonia with some taller spider plant to go perfectly with this ducky to give it a little more uh, dimension to it and it's all looking gorgeous 
so that's what I did with these three cute little planters and right now I just uh, put it by the front entrance and later maybe I can move them to the back porch where I have a little sitting area um, they might go on the coffee table or right on the side table um, by the chairs So here are the three little birdies together. They are enjoying time and having fun. And thanks so much for watching my channel. Just do it and enjoy. Hope you all liked it. Please like it, comment it. And please watch my next videos. I will come back with different kind of things to share and have fun with you all. Till then, thank you so much and bye.